its relationship with religion. Prayer sets our hearts right for conversation with God in a time when our groans are incomprehensible. And the volume of our speech brings us to a frequency where decibels can't reach. In this moment, we open up our hearts and close off to the world. Concentrating our thoughts to what he needs, being confident enough to follow whichever way he leads. Capacity stretched, etched in closer. The need for power requires more space. Therefore, before we go to war, we pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Strengthen us to follow the instructions of the day. And in accordance with your purpose, lead us out of harm's way. So with our hearts and our mouths, we pray.
family I don't care if you've been here for one year three years five years ten we haven't started a journey yet imagine Elijah has been prophesying God has sent him out as a prophet and when God sent him when God met him this point he said that you're gonna have to eat because the journey is long meaning that everything Elijah has done up to this point wasn't actually the journey what it was was preparation for the journey so I need you to know, nation family, it doesn't matter what we've done in this nation. Our journey hasn't really started. So today we gather as a family and what God is actually going to do is that he's going to impart a word for us, for us to take another journey. Just raise your voices just for a few more seconds. I want you to pray. I want you to prepare yourself for the word tonight. mahande. I want you to prepare yourself for the word tonight. Will, will you put up with a little foolish aside from me? So tonight, let me say this to you. You may be next to a neighbor that because of drip, and I don't think many people are wearing better than what I'm wearing. But I think because of drip, sometimes you may feel that it's a bit too foolish to shout. It may be a bit too foolish to pray. To respond to the word when Pastor Toby begins to speak. But Paul said, would you put up with my foolishness just for a moment? I'm about to tell you what drove me. What made me to be a man for years living on the edge. Look at what he says. Go on. Please, just for a moment. The yep. Go on. The thing that has me so upset is that I care about you so much. The thing that has me so upset is that I care about you. Go on. This is the passion of God. Yes, Burn this, is the, this is the passion of God burning within me. What is this passion? Don't miss it yet. Read the next verse quickly. Carry I, on reading. I promised your hand in marriage to Christ. Oh, what was, what was the passion of Paul? What was the passion of the apostle? What has been the evident passion of Apostle Toby? That I may have something to present to God. A generation to present to God. A people, you know, you see your giving. There's hardly a currency that doesn't have a face of a human being on it. Your giving still represents people. Oh my God. Your giving still represents a people. So, yeah, tonight, my passion that I want to contract is that I may present a COD. That I may present a post family. That I may present a connect, a capital, an inspire, an elite, a shepherd, a power base. That's my passion. But I realized something tonight that God was never looking for people who live by the law. He was actually set the law so he can find outliers. People who do not fit into normal systems. You know an outlier is somebody who cannot function inside of a regular body. That is why there is an a, a opposite body called the body of Christ. It is an outlier's body. It are people that cannot function inside of normal systems. So when I think about the pattern of October's, I want to get you ready for the word tonight. When I think about the pattern of October, in 30th of October 2010, an outlier came out of prison named Sam. Let me tell you about October. 
On the 17th of October 2010, I entered into the nation family. Let me tell you about outliers. Okay, on 2018 October, I gave my first, should I say the amount? I started showing a madness. Octobers, outliers and Octobers mixed together. I need you to hear me something. If you're looking at people who will break laws in order to set new ones, I can't just talk about Sam or the nation family. I first of all have to talk about people like the Wright brothers who knew there was a law of gravity, but I think these laws of nature are put in place to see who is outlier enough to defy them. Moses wrote the law, but immediately broke the law because he doesn't fit into a law. So God had to create a law called the law of Christ that actually surpasses all laws. Uh, do you understand that? What I'm trying to tell you tonight is that you are men and women that actually surpass all laws because you're in Christ. No system can hold you. Listen to me tonight. Am I talking to the soldiers? There is no system that can hold you. Why is the next revolution, economic revolution, coming from the church? Because there are 300 outliers ready to develop new systems simply because they can't fit into the one that exists today. is products internet things that men made and if men did not make it God cannot use it if God makes you tonight if man makes you rather tonight God will use you they didn't hear me Lord I know they didn't hear me Hi. if man makes you tonight God will use you Man, someone said, how can you say man makes me? Man made iPhone, God used it. If God finds a product in London 2021, a product of people, it will use them. Why will God use a Pastor Sam? A pity made. And if you are cow crafted, caved by the end of God's servants, and God looks on the horizon of the earth and finds nothing to use but man that are made by his men. When man made Peter, God has to use Peter. In the call and the calling of Peter, Jesus did not involve God. It didn't say follow God. 
He said, follow me and I will make you. And in the making of Peter, Peter was ready for God to use him. The problem with the church is that we have many people made by this invincible God. Then you wonder why our London church is broke. The Nigerians want have to manipulate. Come with your handkerchief, he says. He said in the New Testament church, you're going to make my uncle. Are you a magician? You don't have time to make people, but you can make oil. You're crazy. It's a lie. If real men craft you, men who can hear God's order and relate to you according to the voice of God, oh God, oh God, then God would have to use you. God couldn't find anyone to, else to use, so he took Elijah and Elijah made Elisha just like Moses had to make Joshua. He made Joshua by sending him out as spies. In the days of the following, it was being made. So when Moses passed away, God had to speak to Joshua and said, Look, your master is dead, but he made you well. What must come out of the nation family, the Spark Nation gathering, is people that are products first, that are made by a voice of God. Are you listening to me tonight? Because when you make something, you must be able to put a guarantee on it. Why did Noah live for 120 years? Because God will sustain you for as long as it takes in order to fulfill what it wants to do. Death do not happen to people of purpose. Cancer do not kill people of purpose. Because if God can find a Noah in God's earth. I'm still going somewhere. I'm rounding up soon. People don't commit. People lack commitment. Commitment is not when you love something. When you've committed to it, either you love it or not. Either it feels so. It's not the serving of God that made me walk to the station or walk to go and be a kitchen porter. It's commitment to the ark. Yes, commitment is a do or die thing. Commitment is how you raise this house. So most people, including most of you, and it can't be most of you because this is soldier's house. You're already on a journey of commitment. I've seen people, have you seen the church say, oh, how many people want to join prayer team in this church? In the churches that do that. You see people stand, right? Say, me, me. And the pastors come forward. They all come. And they are even crying. Oh God, I commit my life. Liars. They take the form. They even feel it. They say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I answer the call of God over my life. Two weeks after, it was 50 people that stood up. Two weeks after, it's 20. Give it four weeks. Three people. Six weeks. One. We are not committed to a cause. The churches that we met here were not committed. Halfway, the pastor thinks, I'm going to build a life for myself. I've got to sort me out. Commitment breaks every resistance. There is no resistance that is strong enough to stand in front of commitment. So we all start businesses, but we are not committed enough. So I told someone, you are too busy to progress. You see, you're doing all these things, many things, and you think that's what will bring you progress, but God says you're too busy to progress. One thing, a product, one, saves the whole world. A church without product is useless, and there is no blessing, no empowerment to prosper. But the rain falls on the good and the bad. So when the rain falls, it doesn't care if you're Mark Zuckerberg or you're Steve Jobs. The rain falls, but if there is a juice on earth that drinks from it, it will be blessed even if it's still Steve Jobs. Because it's the land. Land that drinks in the rain. Often falling on it. So why did I pick of all our given stories, my own given stories, why did I pick that I was walking in the rain? going to preach the word because the land that drinks in the rain often falling on it God says I will not protect you from the consequences of your giving 
drink from the rain become a produce ah, you didn't hear me so I was saying God if you were here why is there rain why did you I've heard on television many miracles people just say just someone just give me a car God says this land I don't want to give you a car I want you to produce one because the land that drinks don't remove the scripture please I beg of you the land that drinks I had to drink the rain because when you give when it rains it pours ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you given seed that causes consequences before and when it rains it pours but the Bible wants me to tell you tonight that the land that drinks of the rain that pours that often pours on it that produces crop that is useful to those for whom it is found don't stand up yet only that land receives blessing don't let anybody fool you God blesses products tell me God has not blessed his job are you kidding me but it's bless your camps are you kidding me it's not blessed sick jobs but it's blessed camps where Christians pray endless do you think prayer will help you see the people we met the land that drinks in the rain are the drinkers tonight I didn't hear you tonight we drank through many persecutions we drank and the persecuting spark nation the bible was saying to us the land that drinks of the rain when media attacks you it's rain it falls on the good the bad the ugly it doesn't matter how much good works you want to do you will still get under fire but if you are the land that drinks of the rain and the crop that produces useful 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 why our church is not growing in this city and in the cities of the world it's not useful for those who farm are you listening to me tonight what i see in this house are farmers are you listening are you ready for the new nation taking because because every one of you here tonight god has anointed you for a season like this as it was in the days of noah god is doing a work in you Lift up your hands and begin to worship to me. Lift up your hands, sir. Everyone, worship God in this house tonight. Tonight. 